A hiker begins a trip by first walking 2,500 meters southeast. Now, what does that imply? Okay, let's, the second one is north of east. The southeast, let's have the cardinal points. This is the east, the south, the north, and the west. The southeast indicates that the ICA travels within this region. If it travels within this region, we were not given the the degree at which it tra she travels within this region. But we, since we were not given, we assume that it is 45 degrees. That is just at the middle, which is 45, 45. Since the total angle in this region is 90 degrees. Also, in this place where she travels north of east, the, you need to know the directions of a vectors and the bearing. North of east means north of east. It simply means you are traveling from the east to the north. That's what it means. It means you are traveling from the east to the north. The arrow is from the east to the north. That's the word off. So north of the off indicates that the direction is from the east. So sometimes it may be written as north of east. North of east, but for instance, if an object, in this case, we have 75 degrees north of east, which is this, which is this, it looks like this, we can have it like this, 75 degrees north of east, that means from the east to the north, so we can rewrite this, we can rewrite it as East 75 degree north. Note that they are the same. But when what I'm trying to say is that when the angle is in between, it's the same as this. You should be able to interpret, read it, and be able to interpret it. 75 degrees north of east. The off means you are coming from the east. So that is 75 degree north towards the north, but from the east. It's the same thing as east 75 degree north. Since we don't have off, east 75 degree north means from the east to the north. From the east, take 75 degree and add to the north. That's what it simply means. This is more direct than this. Now let's solve the problem. Okay, from a base camp, let's assume this is a base camp. She walks 2,500 meters southeast. This is the south, this is the east. So, she, she walks 2,500 meters southeast. So, we can have 2,500 meters along the southeast. All right. On the second day, she walks 4,000 meters in a direction, 75 degrees north. So from this place, she walks 4,500 meters, 75 degrees north of east. This is the east. The word of, note it. So 75 degrees north, 75 degrees towards the north from the east so i i'll count 75 degrees 75 degrees so that's the so we can have 4000 meters so the total displacement will be along this direction All right. Furthermore, 
I would like to have the diagram on one side. To have the diagram on one side, we can just do this so that we can resolve and find the final answer. If, if she moves 2,500 meters southeast, that will be here, 2,500 meters southeast. Then she moves 75 degrees north of east. That's this place. 75 degrees here north of east so we have the magnitude is four thousand meters now we can resolve this to resolve this vector resolution of vectors means that we are going to resolve this 400 meters into its y-axis and the x-axis components this as well will be resolved into its y-axis and its x-axis component. Now let's do that. The displacement, then the x-axis, then the y-axis. The displacement here that we want to consider, the 4000 displacement. On the y-axis, uh, on the x-axis first, we want to find its component on the x-axis. Now, how do we do this? We can bring it out here. Although I'll teach you a trick that you can use instead of doing this all the time. But let's understand it first. Okay, since this is 75 degrees. To find the x component, we can use the Sokatua. The Sokatua, this is adjacent and this is hypotenuse. So we we'll have cos 45, I mean cos 75 degrees to be equal to adjacent x upon 4000. So if we make x the subject of the formula, x will be equal to 4000 cos 75 degrees. So the x component is 4000 cos 75 degrees. If you do the same thing for the y axis, we are going to have, let me erase the x. So we'll have it for the y axis now. For the y axis, then we will not have cos, then we should have sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse the sine of 75 opposite y over hypotenuse which is 4000 that means y will be equal to 4000 sine 75 degrees so we'll have 4000 sine 75 now but there is a trick to do this instead of bringing out the angles every time you want to solve if you admit with this wherever the angle is found like in this case the angle is found enclosed on the x-axis since the angle is found enclosed on the x-axis it takes cos the angle is not found enclosed on the y-axis in this case so it takes sine that's just it so we'll use that trick here since we have 45 degrees here the same thing we have 45 degrees here so the effect may not show in this case the reason is because cos 45 and sine 45 they are the same so but in case we have another value wherever the angle is enclosed takes the cos and where there is no angle takes the sine so i will just have 2500 cos 45 2500 sine 45 i did this because the angle is at the middle so they are equal cos 45 in fact we can even have cos 45 here they are the same now the next thing we are going to do is to fix the negative and the positive axis to confirm it the x axis that we resolved here we resolved 4000 to this x axis now this is the positive x-axis, so this becomes positive. The y-axis that we resolved it is the positive y-axis, so this is become this is positive. 
the 2500 meters we resolved it to the y-axis it is the negative y-axis so this becomes negative it becomes negative and then the x if we resolve it to the x-axis we resolve it to the positive side now we the next thing is to find the summation of all the components on the x-axis and then to find the summation of the components on the y-axis by adding so plus this minus this gives us this plus this plus this gives us this now let's do that so if you find the summation correctly then we should have this plus this should give us this this minus this should give us this as a result as a result uh, the implication of this is that the summation of the x is that all these things has been summed up and the x axis component of that summation is 2803.04 along the positive x axis since it is positive this is also positive so this is along this area positive y axis I would like to draw that again so let's have it somewhere here so we have 2803.04 along the x axis and we have this along the y axis which is 2095.94 along the y-axis it is positive so it's along the side if we had gotten a negative value here then it will not be along this direction it will look like this it will look like this and the value we got we will put it for instance if we got minus 5 after adding this then we should have 5 here the minus sign indicates that the it is along the negative y axis so you should not include minus here so that's that okay let's continue with the problem okay so it indicates that it implies that the total displacement will be this this will now be the total displacement and we can find it using the Pythagorean theorem this angle this line is parallel to this this vector is parallel to this and because they are parallel they can is the same so 2095.94 so by Pythagorean theorem the magnitude of the resultant vector is the square root of summation x which is 2803.04 squared plus the square of that of the y summation y which is 2095.94 squared all right if you do this correctly then we should have so if you do that correctly you should have we can therefore find the direction by finding the actan okay let me erase this the direction is this angle theta so to do that we will say that the tan since we have the adjacent the adjacent is summation x which is 2803.04 and then we have the opposite so we can say that using sukatwa the tan of the angle is the summation of what we have on the x on the y axis which is the opposite and that's 2095.94 upon 
2803.04 so if you do this correctly you should have 0 0.7477 so that the theta is the arctan of 0 0.7477 which is equal to the which is equal to 36.8 36.8 degrees since the angle angle theta is equal to 36.8 it means that and this is north this is south i mean this is east so it implies that the icas the the direction of the ica is we can say it is we can find this angle that is we can find this angle following the direction of the arrow and then we can say not what is the angle for this arrow that will be 90 minus 36.8 then 90 minus 36.8 will be equal to that should be 53.2 so we'll have not 53.2 east it means that the ICA took 53 degrees from the north towards the east not 53.2 then towards the east I hope you understand me if you understand please let me know in the comment section below you can also write it in another way you can say that 53.2 since it is going towards the north we can say 53.2 east of north yes that is it is coming from the north and it is going to the east with 53 point two so i hope you understand thanks for watching make sure you share this video with your friends all right